Borunu Governor Professor Babagana Umara Zulum entered February 2020 with tour of communities in different parts of the state on humanitarian intervention and laying foundation for vocational schools centers and 1,000 houses in sub-urban and rural areas. On humanitarian intervention, Professor Zulum was in Mafa town where he directly supervised the distribution of variety of food and non-food items to 7,000 households, each with a minimum of six family members. Also in February, Professor Zulum visited communities in Meiduguri Metropolitan Council to support vulnerable citizens in need of food and non-food items. Professor Zulum was also in Mongono town in which he spent two days directly supervising the distribution of food and conditional cash to 89,000 persons, mostly from Marte, Kukawa, Abadam, Kuzamala and Ganzei, all in the northern part of Borino state. Still in February 2020, Professor Zulum traveled to the Ifa province in the Republic of Niger to meet 1,000 or 120 refugees who fled communities in northern Borno in the wake of attacks by Boko Haram. Still on humanitarian intervention, Professor Zulum in February traveled to RAN, headquarters of Kalabarge local government area, which is a highly remote location on the border between Nigeria and Cameroon. The governor directly supervised the distribution of 100 million naira as a critical social protection to 10,000 households who have been trapped. On security, Professor Zulum in February responded to resurgence of attacks by Boko Haram. The governor was in Aono to rebuild public confidence after insurgent attack. Within the same week in February, Professor Zulum received the President Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Muhammadu Buhari in Meduguri. The presidential visit was to empathize with the people of Borno State in the aftermath of attack in Aono and other communities. As part of multi-dimensional responses, Professor Zulum in February intensified support for the military and volunteers involved in the fight against Boko Haram. The governor released six additional surveillance vehicles to the military for the purpose of patrolling Meiduguri Gamburu Ngala Economic Road. In addition to supporting the military, Professor Zulum in February accepted agitation by citizens to declare a day of public fast and prayers against the resurgence of attacks by Boko Haram in different parts of Borno State. The governor's call was widely carried out by many Nigerians of different faith within and outside Borno State. Still on security, Professor Zulum in February received and held far-reaching discussions with the House of Representatives Committee on Defense. On reconstruction, Professor Zulum in February laid foundation for the construction of 1,000 houses in Mungono towns as part of measures towards the resettlement of 89,000 internally displaced persons currently occupying public schools in Mungono. The governor was also in Gunze where he directed the reconstruction of the council's secretariat in order to restore civil authority. Also on reconstruction, Professor Zulum in February traveled to Malam Fatori, headquarters of Abadam local government area, which was a stronghold of Boko Haram before it was liberated. Zulum assessed damages caused by the insurgents preparatory to multi-sectoral reconstruction projects. On his fight against unemployment, Professor Zulum in February laid foundation stone for the construction of two complexes for multi-departmental vocational skills in Mafa and Mungono towns. Also in February, Professor Zulum in Meduguri flagged off the distribution of economic empowerment parks to 8,150 vulnerable women and youths through an in through an intervention the governor sought from the National Directorate of Employment when he visited their headquarters two weeks earlier in Abuja. Another phase of the NDE's intervention was jointly launched in Dumboa town by the Visiting Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Mr. Festus Kayamo and Professor Zulum. On education, Professor Zulum in February laid foundation for the construction of a higher Islamic school through which eligible scholars of traditional Islamic education can gain diplomas in Western tertiary education. Also in February, Professor Zulum was at the Federal Ministry of Education in Abuja to seek some federal interventions through the Education Minister. Professor Zulum also intensified ongoing construction of new schools in Jimtilo community and other parts of the state. On scientific research, Professor Zulum in February gave approval for Borunu's invitation of researchers to examine the causes of alarming rate of kidney failures in different parts of Borunu state. 
Also on healthcare, Professor Zulum in February continued his surprise visits to hospitals. He directed the hospital's management to immediately automate their revenue system for transparency and accountability. Still on healthcare, Professor Zulum in February hosted a high-level meeting with Nigeria's mission to the Medicine Sound Frontiers MSF, which has been involved in providing humanitarian healthcare services to citizens of Borno State in need of medical emergencies, stabilization and malnutrition resulting from the activities of insurgents. On invitation by the Borneo governor, joined President Buhari, the Sultan and other leaders to attend a national conference on repositioning the Muslim Umar for national development, jointly organized by the Supreme Court for Islamic Affairs and the Future Assured, an NGO established by Nigeria's First Lady, Aisha Buhari. Professor Zulum was also at the villa for a meeting of the National Economic Council. Also in February, Professor Zulum attended a meeting of the Nigerian Governors Forum in Abuja, where crucial national issues with some resolutions passed by governors of the 36 states. Still in February, Professor Zulum had received wives of Northern Governors led by the Borneo First Lady, Dr. Falmata Bagana Zulum. The First Ladies were in Medjugorje for a periodic meeting of Northern Governors Wives Forum towards supporting vulnerable women and children in Borneo State and across Northern Nigeria. On infrastructure, Professor Zulum in February assessed site for construction of Burnus forced flyover, which it flagged off barely two months ago. Professor Zulum also in February accelerated ongoing construction of new roads and rehabilitation of existing ones in Maiduguri metropolis and surrounding communities in order to cope with increasing population of diverse residents who originate from different parts of Burnus state and our country, Nigeria. Reports by Loretta Omoruyi.